teach art as much as I'd like to. It gets put to the wayside a little bit. It's really neat to see the math and the art all come together. I was introduced to origami through my now 10 year old son who came home going, mom, look at this really cool water bomb. And so I took apart the paper and I said, this was really cool. How did you make this? And he proceeded to talk about the triangles and the rectangles and the shapes. And I thought, what if we could take this art form, integrate it with content level standard math and teach it to kids as a way of making math real and found that like our other programs, we were seeing double digit gains in the math. And that was all it took for the schools to welcome us in. For dramatic results, we had the opportunity to do it through our school is how I first found out about it. And it was such a neat thing to be able to have, not only just other adults in the classroom, but artists in the classroom, because I think the kids are lacking so much of the art and being able to integrate the different arts in with the different parts of the curriculum is just amazing. You learn more about the Japanese art and you get to use only paper and your own hands and you don't have to waste any glue or you don't have to use scissors or any other stuff like that. What Dramatic Results is all about is using integrated arts to re-engage kids in learning. We do that through pairing one grown-up teaching artist with every five children and having that same grown-up work with that same group of five children consistently for one hour a week over anywhere from 12 weeks to three years. Because you also do art and math and they also have different activities that you get to do. We learned our uh, remember next week we're going to do the area. You know I find that when I have the students work in groups now that Dramatic Results has been here they have a tendency to be a little bit more on task because I think having an adult work with each group they realize how much fun it is when they're actually on task and doing it. Everything that we do is arts-based, whether it is reader's theater, puppetry, origami, basketry. And what we do is go in as part of a child's regular school day. We help that child realize that it's not abstract columns of numbers, um, for which so many kids we work with feel dismal failures at. Instead, we're saying, look at all the world around you. Look at how much just in this classroom requires math, requires design took someone's effort and creativity, and we help children see things through new eyes. Well, as you're making it, it feels like the math is going through your head, and then the math is going through the paper and the art that you're making. Everything we do within Dramatic Results is team teaching. I wanted very much for our students to have an opportunity to see groups of people, all from very different walks of life and cultures, with different accents and different ages, working together so well as a team. I love it. They, they're so, so kind. It's better to have five teachers or six inside the classroom than just one. And different kids, I can see, relate to some of the different people. But when an adult is sitting there with them, just chatting with them and, and doing what they're supposed to be doing, and they can just ask somebody right there rather than waiting, it's very, very powerful for them. And they love it. We asked one of the kids what they wanted to do when they went out and grew up. And, they said they wanted to work for dramatic results. It's really important for us to help reestablish a sense of hope and trust in kids. And one of the ways in which we do that is what we call our warm and fuzzies at the end of each hourly program, where we have each child share in their small group setting what was one challenging thing about that particular hour and what was one really good thing about that hour. During checkout, you're supposed to say your challenge and something that was positive. And one of my students had actually said, and my challenge was I didn't know how to do perimeter. We haven't taught perimeter yet. And he said, my positive is that I now know how to do perimeter. Those were his comments. If you ask any one of these children what's their favorite part of their week, they'll probably say that it's dramatic results. They all use different terms for it. The theater people are coming or the, the origami people are coming. They really look forward to it and I think it's really important for them to have a part of the, the week that they look forward to. It's really a special treat. Dramatic results is one of the best programs there is.